or appropriate thought is more like what is the nature of the physical world and how do we relate to it? Not what I think the physical world ought to be. And that's what the matter is with utopian thinking. They sit back and they think of the kind of world they'd like to live in. And then they go ahead and they propose a social arrangement out of context with what the environment can support. So that's why even utopian concepts, if they're structured, they're limited because this is it, this is utopia. And, and it has no room for expansion, no room for change. So utopia, if it's ever established, will die, will stagnate. Whereas what I'm talking about, an evolving culture or an emerging culture, Genetics has nothing to do with greed, business, race prejudice. All of the operant systems in any society are part of your education, the books you read, the role models you follow, and the people you admire. The genes have nothing to do except with the color of your eyes, the shape of your nose, perhaps inherited features. But the genes do not control values. One of the main aspects of the Venus Project is to eliminate scarcity. This is where the technology comes into play. Because if we set up a resource-based economy and some things are scarce, it won't work. If you set up a resource-based economy in a society that has no resources, it won't work. So today with our technology, we can make things available. We can eliminate scarcity. We can create an abundance. As long as we can create that abundance, that will eliminate greed and selfishness and a lot of crime and a lot of aberrant behavior. No more separate nations. So anyone can go anywhere. Before the states joined together, they used to stake out their territory. They used to fight. They had militias. They would fight. This is our territory. Oh no, you're in two. When all the states joined together, the government worked out the lines of the states and they agreed and that was the end of territorial disputes. If you are the end of war, you must declare the earth common heritage. Declare the earth common heritage. Common heritage. This has nothing to do with those who want to form an elite world order with themselves and large corporations in control and the rest of the world subservient to them. On the contrary, a global resource-based economy enables all people to reach their highest potential where they can thrive and grow in a society that works in their behalf, a society that protects and preserves the environment as well, one that understands that we are part of nature, not separate from it. But during the transition, we have to bring together the technological capability of people working with computers and working with technology and building and designing methods of delivering these resources and the necessary industrial plants to process the resources. So I would say we live in a physical world right now. When we're hit by a Mack truck, we're diminished. And so you've got to design cities so people can't be hit by Mack trucks. What, what is it that you want? You have to ask yourself, I want to live in a world where I don't have to fear that my children will go into another war, where there'll be deprivation or problems or disease. You have to ask yourself, what kind of world do you want? Do you know how to build that kind of world? No, I don't. Well, how do you go about it? You call upon the various divisions of science bring them together and say, these are the problems we'd like to solve. It isn't that I'm against politics, it just doesn't work. You can think of this as electrical sensors throughout the entire environment, from cities, factories, warehouses, distribution centers, transportation networks, all over the globe gathering data for more appropriate decisions. The decisions are based on the needs of society rather than corporate 
for private interests. I think if you pledge allegiance to the earth and everyone on it, that'd be the way to go for the future. If we say dishonestly that man is the highest form of evolution that you get in the school, man destroys the oceans, the fish, the atmosphere, one another, and man flies over a city, presses a button, and burns everybody in the city with nuclear weapons. Is he the highest creation of nature? Not yet, in my opinion. We've got a long way to go. We could either develop paradise on Earth or oblivion like ourselves out. Only the future will tell. It's what you do to make the future.